How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Crafts and Cars. Today, Afton here, we're gonna be tackling the uh, we're gonna be tackling the rear end on this go-kart, getting her all set and ready for welding. Um, once we get the welder here, we'll be able to weld everything up. But we got a lot to cut off, a lot to clear away, and a lot of disgusting to do to figure out how we're gonna make all this work and function. So let's get started. <music> Alrighty, so step one, jack up your go-kart. Now what after and I are gonna go through and do is cut off what's left of the old axle, uh, the welds here, here, the motor mount, we're for now gonna leave on the tube frame, but we're gonna be looking at changing the position of this guy. So you gotta cut all the welds off, drop the whole axle, brake assembly and everything. The only thing that we're keeping is this lever um, and this motor mount there for right now. clean we're gonna have to touch that up this one uh, the way that it was we weren't able to get at all the welds but ended up taking the pipe with it but a little bit of muscle and elbow grease and you can pop her off so I'm gonna end up cutting uh, this probably about one inch tube so I'll probably cut like some inch and a quarter or something lay over it and that'll act as some bracing on both of those that way it'll be nice and strong again but now that that part's done it's big piece Start mocking up the uh, bearings from the new live action. All right, so what we're gonna do is get everything thrown on here first. So when we're mocking it up, you know exactly if you got everything on it. And that's another thing. I wonder if we're gonna put the disc on the outside or the inside of this thing. Right. Well, that's we use the same 
location as this one, then we can then we don't have to modify the arm. Yeah, thank God. Alright, let's hear what we're dealing with here. Ow. Ooh. Oh, we got a bird. What do you think about that, Subi? That's poor quality control. We can't have that. Oh yeah, what the hell? I wish we could tack weld it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when we do tack these in, we're gonna want the axle in there, and we're gonna have to make sure that they're straight, like it's straight like this. That's gonna be the tricky part. So we're gonna want to use something that's constant, whether it's this, I measure from here to here, and from here to here is what I'm thinking, or we could go string all the way up to the front. Oh where yeah. The steering is. Alrighty, so here's what we got. Actually, want to run through the, what we got with the brakes. So we're just fantasizing right now. This is where we could possibly mount up the brake, where we could have an engine mount and incorporate the brake at the same time. But this little dongle right here hooks up to that pedal as you move it back and forth. It's gonna hook up to this linkage right here. Thus clamping and unclamping the brake. Works really well. Feels a lot better than the old drum brake we had. That means that the motor, instead of gonna be mounted here, we're gonna to have to move the motor over which, and probably mount it off this side. So when you mount it off this side, that means that we're probably gonna end up running a center sprocket, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. You know, it should look pretty slick. So now that we've covered all this stuff, I uh, got a materials list of all the steel that we're gonna to have to pick up in order to make the brake bracket, the engine bracket. Uh, as well as repair the hole in the tube frame that we now have. Uh, so we're gonna have to pick all that up, and then it's weld time. All right, you guys, so we got a lot done today. Got a lot taken off, new stuff mocked up. So now we're really excited to uh, get all the material that we need. So we're gonna grab that, uh, grab the welder, weld it up, and you guys can go on, head down to the comments and talk it up. Until then. <laughs> Until the next time guys, stay tuned for Afton's video this Tuesday. It's gonna be a good one and we'll see y'all next time.